Hi, my name is Shane Sterling. Welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel, I generally try to talk about raw food and personal transformation and uh, personal growth. Those are the things that interest me. Being the best that I can be, transforming myself from the inside. I specifically wanted to talk about what happens if you eat nothing but raw food. I know a lot of people are, you know, know that they should eat more fruits and vegetables, and uh, you know we're told by health people that we're supposed to eat more fruits and vegetables. But what happens if you eat only fruits and vegetables? Well, that's the journey I've been on. It's been phenomenal, and I want to share it. I want to talk about it. So the first thing that I did was I just went. 100% raw cold turkey didn't prepare didn't transition didn't take any time one day from cooked food the next day to 100% raw and the first couple like the first week maybe the first couple weeks it felt pretty normal um, you know I was able to make big salads and throw on tons of avocados and nuts and whatever and make myself feel full and I didn't really feel much different the first week but eventually it started to get where I was feeling hungry you know I was feeling hungry and I started to eat like all day long in the first you know month of me being raw I, I think I was eating from the second I woke up till the second I went to sleep, just trying to feel full. You know, it kicked in after a while. The first week was okay and pretty simple feeling, but then, yeah, it started to feel a little bit harder, and I, I wasn't able to uh, feel satiated as easily from my food, from my raw food, so I was eating a lot and trying to eat, like, nuts and stuff that would satiate me and eating lots of nuts and avocado... Then I decided there might be a problem trying to put raw food in when I haven't really done any cleansing or clearing, you know, and so I decided to go on a juice fast, a 40-day juice fast. I, I pretty much was convinced I was going to do 40 days. So I started juice cleansing about a month after I went raw. I decided to do a, a big, deep juice cleanse, juice fast. And, you know, again, the first week of my juice cleanse, I was like flying high. I was making green juice all day long. I was following the um, advice of John Rose and uh, drinking six quarts a day, which was great for the first week. And then it started to get hard and I got hungry and I was making like fruit juices. Some days I was like not even able to eat make green juice because I was so hungry I just was like I need the calories I'd make quarts of orange juice quarts of grapefruit juice quarts of pineapple juice quarts of watermelon juice I thought oh my god I must be consuming like 4,000 calories in these juices but I was losing weight I was losing weight I wasn't overweight a lot but I was I was carrying an extra probably 30 or 40 pounds at that time and uh, hey that was one of my motivations for going raw I was having a hard time keeping the weight off on the cooked food you know I'd like diet restrict my calories and I'd get some weight off and then I'd be like oh good the weight's finally off and then I'd come back on to you know eating snacks and you know crackers and peanut butter and whatever seems harmless right well no that would just keep I would pack the weight on me man crackers and peanut butter Seems healthy and uh, vegan, but oh man, no, no, keeps the weight on me. So I experimented to go in raw, and here I am on my juice fast, losing about a pound a day. I, I lost about 40 pounds in 40 days. I did make it 40 days. It was hard. I had an amazing amount of mucoid plaque come out of my intestines, and that's really when it started to click in. I, when the mucoid plaque started coming out on day nine, I think it was. Day nine, for seven days straight, the mucoid plaque started coming out. Every day, I would drink that green juice, and I'd have a bowel movement, and it was not 
normal stool. It was like a rubbery, mucoid, plasticky looking alien substance with weird shapes and ripples in it. I've never seen anything like it. So I was thinking to myself, okay, great, this is good. This is what I'm after, this is what I need. Because now when I go back to raw food, my colon is gonna be cleared out. I'm gonna be able to stay on the raw food. It'll kick out the cravings. It'll kick out the, you know, the, the feeling of being hungry. So I stuck out my juice fast, made it 40 days, and it was amazing. I think I did the right thing because when I did go back to raw food, here's the thing, when I went back to raw food after my 40 day juice fast, I was still hungry. You know, we're talking like, what about, I had a month and then 40 days. So we're talking like two months, you know, two months in, two and a half months in, I was hungry. You know, I was hungry. I'd eat, you know, a whole watermelon, like say for instance, a whole half of a watermelon or three quarters of a watermelon and I'd be full for an hour and then I would get ravenously hungry again and I'd go and eat more fruit trying to pack in those calories and I would just look forward to the moments where I could have fat, you know, in my meal. I was trying to keep the fat out of my day and just do fats in my salads because the whole 80-10-10 thing is talking about how to keep your fats low and stuff. I really struggled with that at that time about two months in. So I wasn't too strict on myself because I knew I was transitioning and I, I was, I would just to have to eat as much as I could. And I was convinced I'd be packing on the weight. I'd be convinced, I was convinced that my whole 40 pounds I lost on my juice fast was gonna be blown and I was gonna pack it all back on because I had never eaten raw food before. But the days and the weeks and the months have gone by and I've never put on an ounce. I've never put on a pound, just maybe a normal couple pounds of like, you know, matter going through my GI tract and, and hydration in my cells and whatnot but none of the weights come back on. None of the weights ever come back on. So I kept on that. I kept on that for, you know, a few months, go and whatever, whatever works, just eat as much as I want, you know? And then as I, kept, as I kept going, as I have stuck it out, I have started to have some revelations. I'm not kidding here. I've had some revelations. I've noticed that I've started to, now at nine months, I've started to just feel less hungry. I feel amazing. I feel absolutely amazing on less food. I mean, I just did a a video on what I eat in a day talking about how uh, little food I need to eat, you know, like a green juice or a green smoothie in the morning and some fruit for lunch and a salad for dinner. And I am energized. I am feeling amazing. I am flying high. I can run around with my kids. So now, nine months in, I am convinced that, I'm convinced that this is what it is. This is what it is. I've, I've arrived at nine months in. The juice fast has worked. The juice fast has worked miracles, cleaning out my colon. And I am able to process that food efficiently. I'm able to extract the nutrients from that food efficiently. I am able to uh, get what I need because I feel like I get what I need. Now I put, some fat on my salads at night but um you know i might have some hemp milk that i blend up in the in the blender maybe on some fruit in the morning like i do fruit bowls with some hemp milk poured on top or i will do um you know fats on my salads but really my fats are pretty low i've been keeping my fats down to i mean i guess i'm not counting calories so i don't know but i'm guesstimating 20 percent um some days less you know I don't, I'm not trying to follow 80, 10, 10 or anything, but it is, it's, it's worked amazingly. I'm not, I'm not craving fats. I'm not craving food. I can eat a fruit meal and I feel satiated. I can have a, a green juice or a, or a green smoothie and I feel satiated for hours. And it's like I have energy. I have energy to go for hours and not think about food. But, you know, it's taken me nine months to get where I am at now. So if for someone who's just starting in on a raw food diet and is thinking, like, what happens if I only eat raw food? Well, I would say you got to 
give it time. You gotta stick it out. You gotta get through the hard part. When you're real hungry, when you're when you're saying, okay, this isn't gonna work, we gotta transition our bodies. We gotta get our bodies transitioned over. It takes time to transition the body. You know, you might wanna contemplate like what I was saying about doing a juice fast, you know. As I think it makes a difference to, to clear out clear out what's already been in there for years a lifetime of bad eating habits a lifetime of acidic foods and mucoid plaque lining your colon how and all the cravings and the bacteria that are in there that are causing cravings you know it's the bacteria in your gut that's craving the fried foods and the dairy and the breads that's not even you what you in your light being is craving is raw food but you don't know it you just don't know it because you haven't built up the microbiome you haven't built up the good gut bacteria the bacteria my gut is um, is feeling amazing i mean i've never had a gut like i've been feeling these days man on all the raw fruits and vegetables that soluble fiber in there in those fruits and vegetables feeds that gut bacteria i can feel it man i can digest massive salads big bowl of salad like this big it takes me an hour to eat i can eat all this fiber and I'm just, I feel good. No digestion issues at all. You know, that's another thing. What happens when you eat nothing but raw food? Well, I'll tell you, I was, when I was eating these big salads right in the first couple months, I was getting gas and bloating and discomfort. But I stuck it out, you know, I stuck it out because I knew I was on a mission to build up a gut bacteria that I really wanted. I knew that the only way to build this gut up was to eat the foods that the gut is wants to eat which is raw fruits and vegetables so I stuck it out I stuck it out when it sucked you know there were some nights when I had real discomfort from too much fiber but you know it hasn't lasted it hasn't lasted that was a phase and that was a uh, like a an initiation I had to go through to get to where I am now and for anybody listening I would say just you know, stick it out, stick to the raw fruits and vegetables. What it's like on the other side is miraculous. It is worth every bit of struggle and discomfort and pulling your hair out with cravings and uh, feeling hungry and no way to satiate. Like it's one thing to eat fruit when you're going off to your meat and dairy and eggs and pastas and breads and cookies afterward, fruit's a different thing. But when you're only eating fruits, and vegetables, I'll tell you, it turns into something else. There's so much psychological attachment, so much emotional attachment to the food. You gotta break your psyche of these addictions. It's really like an addiction. Cooked food is an addiction like any other. And breaking that addiction, your, your mind, your ego is gonna fight with you. It's gonna bargain with you. It's gonna tell you, no, don't do it. Don't give it up. Don't give it up. You'll be damaged. There, there's something wrong with you. But no, I think what's wrong is that we're addicted to cooked food because here on nine months in on living foods, it's night and day. I'll never go back. I'll never go back. So what happens when you eat nothing but raw food? Miracles happen. Health happens. Vitality happens. A spiritual emotional detox happens a feeling of connection to everything and everyone around you i am so much more empathetic feeling i can feel the plants i can feel the animals i can my mom bought brought over a couple uh, starts earlier this summer and she didn't know what they were she picked them up from her neighbor she the neighbor was giving them away she's like here's a couple plants stick them in the garden for let the kids grow them I, and she's like i don't know what they are i, I looked at them and i was like oh those are cucumbers i just knew i knew you know, I don't grow cucumbers all the time. I didn't know because I'm extremely experienced with cucumbers. I knew because I eat cucumbers every day. I could feel the cucumber vibes on the on the plant. I, that might sound weird, but it is true. It is true. I could feel the cucumbers because I'm eating them. You know, the more plants you eat, the more you can feel the plants. It's like that means the more death we eat, the more meat, dairy, and eggs, the dead foods and the cooked foods we eat, the more we're feeling the, the death and the, the, dest the destroyed food. I mean, the, mo the more we're tuning into that, death, destruction, and degeneration. When living foods are 
life and regeneration and connection. Every single choice we make affects us drastically. Every choice we make is either a spiral up or a spiral down. I don't think there's any neutral. I don't think there's any neutral. Every single choice is either choosing life or choosing death. Every single one. Think about it for a second. Every single choice we make is choosing life or choosing death. Cooked food is death. I'm sorry. I mean, humans have done it for hundreds of thousands of years. So what? It's choosing death. And look where humanity is. Look where we've got our, you know, poverty, war, violence. Who says humanity's got it figured out? You know, we think that we're somehow intelligent because we've figured out how to exploit animals and planet Earth, but is that a real sign of intelligence? I don't think so. I think real intelligence is emotional intelligence. Feeling the connection to everything, knowing what is sacred, knowing what is God's work, knowing what is real, truth, objective truth, natural law, Mother Nature's law. In balance and in harmony with Mother Nature, that is real intelligence. And if, you know, the, if the doctors and the scientists say that we've evolved with cooked food and our brains evolved on cooked food and we are who we are because of cooked food, then I say, I don't like that. I don't like who we are at all. I like who I am now on raw food. I like how it feels on raw food. I don't like who I was on cooked food and I don't like humanity on cooked food. Man, the fast food joints and the junk in the grocery stores. No way is that who we are supposed to be. That is not who we are supposed to be. We've got it wrong. We've got it wrong. Raw food is the answer. Raw food fuels our soul and our spirit and our sense of connection and sacredness and wisdom. We can change the world for the better. And that's what I'm here to do. This is my mission. This is my purpose on planet Earth, to move the needle one step further on the scale of evolution. That is what I'm here to do. And I'm here in support of the ways we do that. And we do that with raw foods. We do that with the raw living foods. So I'm here to share that message with you. And uh, thanks for listening and thanks for watching the video with me. And I hope um, this information has been valuable. I hope you can use it in your life. And I hope that it's inspiring. Maybe you want to start on a raw food journey yourself. I would only hope that, that uh, you would want that. So... I'm here in service to that. I'm here in service to you on your journey. Thanks for listening. I'll see you in the next one.